Okay, I wanted to show you how you can um, access your chosen astronomical or celestial object um, by using Aladdin and the coordinates that you know. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to use the preview, the light one. Okay, so I'm going to preview it with Aladdin Light. You can download the desktop version, but it's not necessary. So one of the things that you need to look at when you um, first open this is there's two really key areas here. There's the target, and then we've got our, it's very hard, it's a little bit hard to see up here, but you can see there is some coordinates there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the list of my Messier objects. And that was what I had showed you in the um, uh, course there, and I took a screenshot of that. So we have any number of them that we might like to do, but let's just take note here of the right ascension and the declination of this Crab Nebula, which is called M1 or NGC1952. Okay, so what I can do in here now is I can just type in M1 in the target and I hit enter. M1, enter, and what this actually does, where that little arrow and that cross is, um, where my arrow is in the cross there, that's the actual coordinate. So if I just move off the screen there, I can see that what I'm looking at up the top here actually matches the coordinates that are here. But the coordinates here um, can be confusing at times. They're in degrees, minutes, and seconds, and that's not always the easiest way to report on um, the celestial coordinates. In many of the papers that you read, you'll see it in the decimal form. The J2000 just basically means it's the Julian date uh, 2000, so don't worry about that for the time being. We'll explain that later in the course. But what I want you to do is to click on the D here. The D here gives you that reading, that celestial coordinates in a decimal form. Um, some objects have a negative here. So if you if you come up with a negative, um, where it says, you know, plus 22, that's a perfectly acceptable um, coordinate to have a negative coordinate there. Um, they can also get very, very small. Um, another thing that might be interesting to note here is if you click on the catalogue, this takes you, uh, all these little dots come up, and what that means is that there is some information on those particular stars or that particular body. So what I've got here is I probably haven't clicked on the right thing. Um, let me pick just let me just pick a one star in here. This one down here will do. So this star doesn't actually have a name. It's got a number, and there is that star's coordinates. And um, in the decimal way, and here is in the um, degrees, minutes, and seconds down there. So this star's not particularly well defined, but there's a little bit of information on it. Um, Here's another one here. This one has got um, a different name as well here, and it's a star, okay? So that's about all I want to show you on that. Um, there are other things that you can look at. If you, I'm just going to close my meeting down here. If you click off that, um, have a fiddle round. If you want to look at the coordinates of that particular star, you can see that, well, my little, I probably need to move my cursor so that it stays. Um, See how I'm just moving the arrow here? Or I can move that to a very bright star there. I might be interested in what that star is. Let's quickly click on that and see if anything can tell me. Okay, so that is what the name of that star is. It's it's a more famous star, I suppose. It's got more information down here in the different uh, frequency wavelengths here. We've probably got the magnitude. Um, the lower the number here in magnitude, the brighter the star, which you can actually see because this star is very bright. All right, so I'm talking too much. I'm getting carried away. I'm getting excited. Um, but I hope that teaches you a little bit how to use Aladdin Light to get the coordinates of your star in a decimal form. Um, once again, type in the name of your target here and you can flick it to whatever you like. You can click on the coordinate of your star here and you can see what's going on. Okay, thank you.